Welcome to Distributed Systems and Blockchain in the News. My name is Thomas Bocek and this is a short weekly summary of interesting news that is relevant for my Distributed Systems and Blockchain lecture here at the Eastern University of Applied Sciences in Switzerland. The first article is about the eight fallacies of distributed systems that I present in my distributed systems lecture. It's about the network is reliable and secure. And the following article here, it reports on a vessel equipped with deep sea capabilities that was detected near undersea communication cables. And these cables from core internet infrastructure transmitting data between Ireland and Britain, approximately 60 kilometers off the east coast of Dublin. And the vessel's transporter was deactivated while moving through the English Channel and reactivated for only six minutes when positioned near the cables, creating documented surveillance gaps. This incident triggered a multinational response, including Norwegian, Irish, US, French and British military assets, showing the importance of this infrastructure. This situation illustrates the fourth distributed system fallacy, the network is secure. The second related fallacy states network is reliable. Physical access to these specific cables creates genuine reliability concerns as they carry data traffic between Europe and North American networks. And three days later, I saw this article here about damaged sea cables. And here, two critical network infrastructure failures occurred in the Baltic Sea, providing clear evidence of this distributed system fallacies. On October 18, 2024, two undersea data cables were damaged. A 1,200 km fiber optic link between Helsinki and Rostock and a separate cable connecting Lithuania to Sweden's Gotland Island these cables were found damaged within 10 meters of each other. And the uh, technical impact reveals key distributed systems principles in action. Finland's internet access continued to function because traffic was automatically rerouted through Sweden, demonstrating the importance of redundant paths in network design. Similarly, Lithuanian communication remained operational through alternate pathways. This redundancy, while effective, still represents a reduced capacity in that case. The repair process illustrates another critical aspect of disputed systems, recovery time. The cable repairs typically require 5 to 15 days, during which system must maintain operation through backup routes. And let's get back to the vessel that turned off tracking and why this is critical. With this data, ships can be identified that were close to the broken sea cables at that time. And there's a nice investigation and uh, this investigation with the available data identified a ship that may have caused this damage with tools that I just showed, for example, here Vessel Finder. And here you can track and see where ships are now, how fast they're going. Of course, only if they have turned the transponder on. So turning off your transponder is suspicious. And this analysis here revealed some interesting details. The cargo vessel's movement coincided precisely with both cable failures. The data shows three critical patterns. First, the vessel speed decreased significantly near the cable locations. Second, it remained stationary for 70 minutes. And third, it resumes normal speed after both cables were confirmed broken. And the comparative analysis of five other vessels in the same area facing identical weather collision showed no similar speed variation, so weather was not a factor there. The next article is about dependency and potential attacks. It's the following article here. 
A recent security incident with GitHub project demonstrates why development inside containers provide crucial security benefits. In November 2024, multiple projects faced malicious code injection attempts through seemingly innocent pull requests. Let's examine how containerized development could have mitigated these risks. The attack targeted an AI startup's repository with a pull request that appeared to clarify dependencies hidden within Unicode numbers the code attempted to download and execute remote payloads. While this specific attack was caught, it demonstrates a critical vulnerability in traditional development environments. Development inside containers offers two key protection against such attacks. First, containers isolation means even if malicious code executes, it remains confined within the container, protecting your host system. And second, containers provide consistent clean environment. Every development session starts from a known secure state. And the incident revealed 18 similar attacks across different projects. In a containerized setup, these attacks would face additional barriers, network calls could be blocked by default, system execution could be disabled, and the container could be easily discarded and rebuilt if compromised. And when automated tools detect this malicious code as a critical security issue, it reinforces a key distribution principles. Development environment need the same security considerations as production systems. Container-based development provides this security by default. And I recently switched to running a dev setup within containers. And the setup now is even easier than with a setup where parts of the service run inside the container and parts run outside the container. The next article shows why it's important to update your dependencies. The project uh, required exactly Node version 12, Python 2, and some specific C++ compiler versions. And both Node 12 and Python 2 were end of life, creating unnecessary security and compatibility risks. The developer spent two hours reconstructing an obsolete environment instead of using modern maintained versions. And this demonstrates our fundamental principles as well about uh, technical debt. The project's 41 direct dependencies, each with their sub-dependencies, created an unmaintainable web of outdated requirements. Python 2 deprecated since 2020 should not be a requirement for modern web projects. And by maintaining latest stable releases, we gain several benefits, security patches, performance improvements, and compatibility with modern tools. More importantly, we avoid the complexity of managing multiple versions of core technologies like Python and Node. This case shows why, if it works, don't touch it, becomes expensive in distributed systems. Regular updates to stable releases prevent technical debt. The last article is about uh, the SUI network, and it's the following article here. On November 21st, 2024, the SUI blockchain experienced a complete network halt lasting two hours. No blocks were produced after 9.15 UTC. The technical cause was an integer overflow bug in the transaction scheduling logic, which caused validator nodes to crash. SUI is a layer one blockchain that uses a modified version of the move programming language, focusing on object as user level assets. And with 1.6 billion in total value locked, it ranks eighth among all blockchain platforms, having grown 55% in the past month. And the impact was immediate and widespread. The network stopped processing all transactions. The native cryptocurrency SUI dropped 11% in value. Exchanges had to disable deposits and withdrawals. 
Validators identified the bug, deployed a patch and restored network operations within two hours and the SUI Foundation kept users informed throughout the incident, first acknowledging the outage and then confirming the fix. The bug is documented on GitHub, allowing security researchers to verify the cause and a Web3 security company confirmed it was a denial of service issue caused by integer overflow in the node software. Prior to this incident, SUI has maintained a consistent uptime since May 2023 launch with only testnet disruption in June 2024. And the network scale is notable. It has seen substantial growth with its total value locked increase. And I found very interesting in this article here, the following statement of the CEO of Backpack, which is a Solana based wallet for NFTs. Downtime is just a fact of life. If you don't go down, you're not pushing your limits.